Hello one and all, it's Team Traction here, and today is Train Spotting 5, Past, Present and Future, featuring locomotives and stock from all three categories in East Anglia. Starting with a 66, dragging another 66, which has been badly tagged and graffitied. 66759 is dragging 66713. And off to Berry now, where we see our first celebrity engine, and it's not even five minutes in. This is class 66, number 66743, which is one of the two 66s painted in the Bellman Royal Scots livery. But this time, I'm not a very royal duty, just hauling container wagons through, through the station. Staying at Berry now, and we catch another Class 66, a more standard one this time, Class 66778, again hauling a rake of intermodal freight wagons. <laughs> Sticking with freight now, we have got another one leaving the station. This is at Stone Market. It's revving up and we can get some few horns on the way out. This is Freightliner 66, class 66515.
our first 170 of the day, number 17204, departing Stone Market. At the time of speaking, these engines are dropping like flies, so pretty soon we'll be covering an all change video and withdrawal of the 170s. Just to give you an idea of how long these videos take to film, this was taken over a year ago, and it shows 66747 still in its original GBRF colour scheme. This engine has now been repainted into the Made in Sheffield NWT red, white and blue jet frame. Here we get some class 90s passing straight through Stowe 100 miles an hour. And a more slower unit now, uh, this is class 153309 passing Stowe. And a slightly more rare visitor to the area. Now this is class 321332. Um, it's one of the suburban trains that run up to Norwich on an occasional basis uh, due to unit shortages. And here it is departing for Norwich. Here we have a class 321 ticking over at Stone Market Station. And here's one of the stalwarts of the Great Eastern Mainline fleet. Not often recognised the DVTs in favour for the class 90s. And this is H2127 heading away towards Norwich. I can't get enough of these, can I? Here is the class 321 in platform 2, and passing straight through is the first of the day, the 8 o'clock London Liverpool Street train. Back to some freight, but a rare visitor. Uh, this was due to Great Eastern Diverts. We got a Class 70. Next up we've got a couple of fast paced 100 mile an hour shots. Class 90. Anyway. And a DVT. Here's another GBRF 66, number 66759. And again, returning to the slower paces of life, here's a 156, parting for Ipswich. One 
on 7207 seen here departing from Elmswell towards Stanford. And here is 170-205, well, affectionately nicknamed Blue Eye, um, because of one of its uh, light discs being blue. Here it is, arriving in Amazon. Another freight for you, 66562 on an intermodal set. And shortly after came 66541. Back at Berry to spot a scud. Can't identify the number. It's a bit far away. But here she is, departing for Cambridge. And here is my usual spot, uh, the usual place I spot, and then the usual service I spot, which is Mass Rilla Felixstowe, this time hauled by Chippy. Six six seven five nine. Now let's jump back earlier in the year and see six six seven oh nine Sorrento in its MSC livery. Double header now with 66511 and 595. Calling a rather empty intermodal set. And here arrives class 170 272 on a service to Cambridge.
six tones of a 170. Now an interesting blink and you'll miss it. Watch the pantograph. And you'll see a splatter. That is, well, my first witness of a bird strike on the pantograph. If we slow it down, you watch very closely at the top of the class 90. Pigeon clearly strikes its pantograph. And the aftermath on the platform, just let me say now, it really wasn't pretty. Now here's something rare, class 17205 Blue Eye has just arrived at Stowe Market, but it's wrong roading. Yeah, for some reason it was diverted into platform 2 of all things. Um, when it came from Hawley, so it should have always, like it always is, should have been on platform 1. Now even more weirder, is it then gets overtaken when another than a Class 90 using the right platform. That's 90.008, we're angry. And then, just to put the icing on the cake, um, as if you couldn't get a rare enough working already, look what pulls up on platform 1. So, the 170 on platform 2 still stays put, and here comes another 170. That, by my eyes, is 271, and just for the cameras it seems, stops dead in line. So we can get shots of two 170s lined up side by side, both facing forward. Something that I've never seen, and as you can see, by my friend on the other platform, it was a new sight for him as well. So there we go, 170, 271 leaves, and then after that has gone, 170, 205 gets an amber signal just there, and it departs. Putting an end to this eventful afternoon with a strange, unusual, and not seen before working. Just a treat that was. Oh, and of course he gives me a time. Now for the best freight working of this video, and one of my favourite videos now in general. My friend Liam knows a few Freightliner drivers, and he phoned ahead, and he knew he was coming, so he put on a show. A show indeed something I've never seen before. Um, please do go check out Liam's channel, the link will be down in the description. But believe it or not, he has better friends than this, um, one of his mates on Freightliner, managed to give him 130 tones at Westerfield. You heard me right, 130. So if you love tones, please do go and check out Liam's channel, link below. Now for some unique shots, with winter setting in and spotting starting in the evening, you get beautiful shots like this. Now this is unedited pink sky, an absolutely amazing golden hour. Uh, this was just after a storm and you just, you just got shots like this. So if two special liveried 66s weren't enough for you this video, <laughs> well let's do it one better and get a third.
Yep, it's class 6671 Harry Beck in a London Transport White Limero. Look at Harry Beck! Yes! Oh, please, stop! Lovely echoey horn as it falls into ferry the next day. And a third shot to make it a trio. This was on the Wednesday. Back at Berry again for 66536, which is pulling through with another intermodal set. Bit of an odd working now. Class 66147 was uh, pulled in last minute to be a Thunderbird loco. So it came to Berry. Parked in the goods loop, waited for that 66 to pass, and then headed over the points and then back towards Dullingham to rescue a failed engine. And another straight through 90 service. I love seeing these. So come on, three special locos really wasn't enough for you. Let's make it four. 
This is Maritime One. That's the DB cargo engine. And this is number 66005. So it's one of the veterans. One seventy two oh one now departing. And next, you've seen plenty of class ninety speeding through here at a hundred. This is new. another 170 departure towards Ipswich, of course with a horn. Now for another new thing that we've never seen before. Yes, it's a 66 coming up, but look what's double heading with it. Last 70. Still red. And here is a light engine movement. It's one of the DB one DB sixty sixes pulling in to the stone market down goods loop ready RHTT duties. Here's another 170 departing for Ipswich with some good times. This next 90 came through so fast even the camera didn't like it. spot the jitter in the movement uh, the camera cut out halfway through there which was a bit annoying anyway here's the 66 and another 70 double heading again And here is one final 66 just to round things off. So now we've seen from the present, let's jump forward and take a look at some trains from the future.
you join me at Stowe Market on a very cold winter morning. And it's purely for what's coming up, which is one of the first 755 deliveries. And here, a very special day, this was the first 755 test run in daylight, south of Dis. And here's another shot of it coming back towards Norwich. It then did a second test run on the day and it crawled through Stone Market Platform 1. And here comes its bigger cousin. This was one of the first 745 deliveries into the UK. And here comes a 755, wrong roading through Stone Market so it can get into the, the down goods loop. And then, after a minute or two sat there, it slowly creeps back out onto the main line to go back to Norwich. This video was taking quite some time in the future. This was when the 7455s they were released for traffic finally. And here is one departing for Great Yarmouth. Last shot is a quick capture of a 755 idling at Norwich. More on these will be coming soon. Now we're on to the past. And firstly, a 37-6 um, in Europhoenix livery chasing the 755 on test in case things went wrong. Another light engine 37, this one was coming into the down goods loop uh, to complete its journey after coming back from repairs ready to start RHGT duties again.
and to cap this video off three very special rail tours i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode And now, after being absent from the Great Eastern Mainline for four years, we welcome back number 61306, Mayflower. Mayflower was working a rail tour to the Mid-North Railway on the 4th of July 2019.